so <clears throat> been reading some stuff lately and looks like I need to be focusing on visioning visioning some things that I'm wanting to manifest inside my life so the first thing that I've been visioning recently is a cabin and part of the way to help me do this is going to be able to get 15 clients and hit a certain number which seems to be quite private <laughs> so at the time when this happens I will potentially share it I have it written down but I'm not one to talk about money much the cabin that is in my mind has a very large wraparound porch not really very large but I do want it on the front as well as the left or right side of the house the reason is because when I think of this I think of old movies in the 80's and something comes to mind I don't even remember if I've actually seen this show or not but the show Dawson's Creek I'm not sure if this is the right show or not but you see a lot of these um, I don't know what type of cottage type houses with the big large swing to the side of the porch and the boyfriend and the girlfriend will be hanging out or the mom and the dad or the the children and the sons or whatever kids swinging back and forth on the chain and then just next to the door on the left side I see rocking chairs with a table in between and sitting there drinking sweet tea and relaxing and seeing out front distance is a large tree I don't know what type of tree just a large tree it could be oak tree it could be any type of tree old mature tree and a swing a rope swing hanging from it for whoever kids to play adults swinging back and forth whatever a picnic table in the grassy area to have lunch or barbecues the color of the the cabin must be the color of wood Varnish wood is fine, but wood it could be brown, it could be whatever. The color of the rocking chairs could be either white or brown, maybe a little lemon. I don't really like women, but I feel like it'll last, add a little zest. Some Splenda, something natural, maybe monk fruit, because I've never tried it in my tea. I'll be sitting there talking with my significant other, whether it's my wife or my girlfriend or at that point, I'm not sure. In a loving relationship, relaxing, 
I'm thinking back to this moment. Playing back this video. Thinking about how it actualized. The important thing here to me in the sense of the cabin are a few things. I have really sensitive skin and hot water is difficult for me to go in extended periods of time. But something I feel that's really important for me is going to be on the back porch privately secluded is going to be a jacuzzi with a gazebo around it. little bar to have drinks and relax maybe even a small barbecue set off the side cook some chicken some veggies and such <clears throat> the single most important thing about this cabin To me is that it has a an area and this could be a separate library or living room or just the living room in general I will have a dog a large dog a German Shepherd like Seagull Seagull was my dog. I had him a few years ago and ended up giving him to somebody on a farm. Girl I was dating convinced me that I was selfish if I kept him because I didn't have time for him and I believed it and went for it, instantly neglected it, and our relationship fell apart pretty soon after. I guess I resented the decision. Resented her for the decision. A big dog, nonetheless. Maybe I'll fall in love with a different breed. But the single most important thing back to that is going to be the ability to sit in a chair. If you have ever seen these, these are called, I don't know what their, the name is. They are high back chairs. Okay. They have a high back to them. The chair I'm going to be sitting in is going to have wood foot lion's claw feet. You know, the kind that drop down from the fabric on all four corners. And they have lion, they have like a ball holding in the hand. And it's like a claw. Very sophisticated looking chair. It's got red fabric. Deep, deep red fabric. And it's sitting on a large 16, 16 foot round carpet. Ornate. The importance, I suppose, of the the other one. chair is not relevant necessarily. The other chair could be a sofa. Could be where my wife or girlfriend or sits or lays with a blanket. Keeping warm. The significance of this chair is really important to me. When I see things at peace, or my mind at peace, I picture reading a book, relaxing. There's going to be a high table next to it, circular, wood, also with matching claws, feet. On that table will be 
a lamp, a desk lamp. The lamp will be one of those lamps that you saw with the green top, the gold base, so that I can see while I'm reading. On this desk, you're going to see whiskey on the rocks, no mixer, and a short, clear, very beautiful glass. Simple. Having a drink, reading, occasionally looking over to the one I love and my dog. In front of me, off to the right hand side, it's going to be a beautiful rock and wood fireplace and mantle. The mantle above it could be created by me, engraved by myself, or by someone else, it doesn't really matter. The important thing here is that the fireplace is lit. The fireplace must be lit. It's very important that the warmth is coming into the room. The reason for the importance of the warmth in the room is simple. If you look to the right, out the window, the window has muttons on it. If you don't know what muttons are, muttons are small little square separations of the window. Looking through the muttons shows that one of the most beautiful sights that you're ever going to see. Snow. It's snowing outside, so the fireplace has got to be roaring. It's got to be beautiful. It's got to be keeping the heat in. Potbelly stove is where I'll cook most of my things. All the walls must be either cabin or wood panel. They cannot be drywall. It's not a cabin. Outside there will be many, many trees. The trees that I'm discussing now are fruit trees. Trees that can bear us food. I want to be off the grid, but not entirely. I want to have the ability to get through hard winters if something were to happen. We could stockpile enough food to be able to make sure that we can make it through. Or if we wanted to go a month without going to town, so be it. Five, ten miles to town sufficient half a mile to a mile between neighbors is fine neighbors close enough to know them but not not close enough to bug each other when you come to my cabin I want to talk about where I was when you look at where I'm at now it's going to be hard to understand where I'm going to be. For me, I don't feel that way. You know, in the past, depending on how long you've known me, I've talked about castles and different things. Different experiences, different things that I've wanted, different things that I've dreamt about. But one thing stands true, it's always been a cabin. Slash farm. 
I'm gonna have chickens. Chickens are a mess. I used to have one named Tiger. Damn thing crapped all over everything. Neighbor's dog ate him. That was horrible. But I have chickens. Chickens to be able to lay eggs and get my protein. Not forced, just natural. Let them roam free. Have a little place where keep them warm. Keep them safe and keep them away from danger. Little chicken coop that I build. I'd love to build one. Maybe a cow for milk. I don't believe in hurting animals, so I won't be hunting much. I don't think I could pull myself to hurt one for no reason. So I'll grow lots and lots of fruit, lots and lots of vegetables, lots of eggs. Give my protein that way. I mean, heck, I'm only five miles from town. I'll drive in and get me some protein powder. I have cucumbers, asparagus, tomatoes, even though I hate them. I heard they're easy to grow if the climate is right. I'd like to be within five, ten miles of a nice lake. Lots of hiking around and not so far away where there's not much to do. The bedroom just needs to be relaxing. The entire house needs to be inviting, warm, cozy. Big dirty rug right by the front door where I wipe off my boots and take off my shoes. This is the beginning of my visualization. Boy, oh boy, is this going to be interesting. I am going to own a cabin. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to snow. going to be epic. Thank you for listening. This is August 19th, 2019. Universe, I am talking to you. I am going to own a cabin. I'm going to work hard. And I'm going to get it. I am speaking things into existence using the law of attraction. Dear cabin, dear future loving person, dear dog, <laughs> and dear everybody that's going to come see, but beauty it will behold. And have a drink with me by the fire. Thank you for all the support.